people like Pat Robertson and Jerry Falwell said, this was brought upon us by our sinful ways. I want to put him on a plane, take him over to the Ayatollah and have worldwide fundamentalist wrestling. <laughs> One time only, a life after death match for all of our souls. Let's get ready to humble. <laughs> because here's the drill. Fundamentalists take it to be the word, not translatable, not metaphorical, the word. In the beginning, Genesis, let there be light. Could that be a metaphor for the Big Bang? No, God just went click. <laughs> so you're saying we're all descended from Adam and Eve, then we're all cousins? That's right. <laughs> Here's the thing. There are miracles, though. There's miracles in the Bible. Like when Moses, and I'm not talking guns and Moses. No, I'm not talking. <laughs> not Charlton Heston going, let the Jews go, the Pharaoh gets two in the head. No. <laughs> Charlton Heston, a man who said, guns don't kill people. Apes with guns kill people. <laughs> no, Chucky, no. Second Amendment, it started off, it was muzzle loaders, people going like this, and this still continues. That's okay. <laughs> but I'm talking about the time Moses said to Pharaoh, let my people go, and Pharaoh went, in your dreams. And Moses called the God going, God, I need some help. And frogs fell from the sky. Maybe they fell from the sky, or maybe there were Jews with catapults going, no. <laughs> and thank God it was the Egyptians and not the French, because the French would go, lunch, OK? <laughs> Why should we let you go, you great caterers? I can't let you go, you crazy people, huh? <laughs> but frogs fell from the sky. At that point, I'd be going, get your shit and out. But frogs, I said, wait a minute. That's what we should do. That's what we should drop on Afghanistan. Not bombs, not food. Fucking frogs. Frogs, lizards, hamsters, gerbils, shit they haven't seen. And if you want to get people out of caves, a shitload of New York rats. Oh, baby. You know, New York rats would be going, hey, come on, raid. <laughs> I eat pussy literally. Bring it on! But that's what they dropped in. And even then, Pharaoh was not plus. He was, oh, please, David Copperfield, no. And then boils, and then firstborn dies. That's it! Hebrews, get out! And everybody, Banish Tadanoi, everybody! Hello, let's not wait for the bread to rise. Let's take the crackers and the skin off your penis. We're leaving! Excuse me, why the skin off our penis? We're traveling people, you don't want sand in there. Let's go! And this is so passe, the dicky thing, forget it. Let's move! We're going through the desert, and then they get the Ten Commandments, would be adjusted by certain presidents. That happens later. And they get to the Red Sea there, the sea, the sea. And they go, what now, Mr. Magic? What do we do now? We're going to walk on the frogs box, with the frogs box. Frogs backs. Thank you for watching me this far. Obviously, I did inhale. So, what do we do now? the big shot and he calls to God again and the sea pops and even the most doubting Jew is going you're good <laughs> let's go everybody come on everybody let's move don't eat the shellfish I'll tell you why later let's go <laughs> where are we going to Jerusalem to start years of struggle and later to Miami to fuck up an election let's go <laughs> And then the Pharaoh comes, but the sea closes, and he calls to his cat-like God, but his cat-like God can't do shit, because it's afraid of water. <laughs> and then there's another miracle. The night that Mary said to Joe, Joe, I'm pregnant. And Joe went, holy mother of God. And she went, you're right. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What a great name, Joe. That is so much better than Shmuel. Way to go! I love you, Joe. Wait, hold on a minute, Mary. Hold on a minute. So I'm the stepfather of God's kid? Yeah. So I can't discipline him. I can't go, you've done wrong, because the kid will look at me and say, you're not my real dad. What are you doing, Mary? How did it happen? Oh, it's immaculate, Joe. Oh, it better be, Mary. It better be immaculate. I'm sorry I'm transforming Joe into Ralph Cramden. <laughs> but it seemed to be kind of appropriate, because up to that point, all the names in the Bible are very Jewish. You have Noah, Moses, Zebedee, and then you get Mary and Joe. We are just a hyphenate away from Mary Jean and Joe Bob. We could have had Jim Bob, the son of God. Praise to him, Jim Bob. He who finds that stuff and gets me a job, Jim Bob. And here's the other drill. 
Jesus was an only child because, thank God, who would want to be Jerry, the brother of Christ? <laughs> That's a tough gig. <laughs> Come on, Jerry, we're going to the beach. Oh, great, Mom. Yeah, Jesus is going to walk on the water, feed everybody, heal them, and get a whole bunch of disciples. I'll sit there with a rash and sand in my ass. Great day for me. <laughs> He ends up in a bar at the age of 30 going, yeah, I'm Jerry Christ, whoop de doo <laughs> Yeah, I got a, I, I got, I healed somebody. Here, Spot, come on, boy, heal. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, my brother, yeah, Jesus, he's a carpenter, I'm a plumber, you do the math. <laughs> and people say to me, they say, Jesus wasn't Jewish. I say, of course he was Jewish. 30 years old, single, living at home with his parents, come on. <laughs> Working in his father's business, his mother thought he was God's gift. He's Jewish. Give it up. <laughs> it's an old tradition. And if he was Jewish and many of his disciples were Jewish, for the Last Supper, would they have not have gone out for Chinese? I think so. <laughs> Welcome to Yahweh. Hold on. One moment. No service, no sandal. Okay, you come in now. Hold on. You at 12. All I got is two tables of six right now. They're not together. Wait a minute. Hold on. I got one big table by the window, but you all have to face this way. <laughs> all right. Hold on. You are glowing, so I guess we won't need the lamp. That's very nice. And you just turned a Sichuan chicken into a live chicken. You're very good. <laughs> and it's said that night that Jesus turned to his disciples and said, one of you shall betray me. And Peter said, is it me, Jesus? And Jesus said, no, it is not you, Peter. And Simon said, is it me, Jesus? And Jesus turned to Simon and said, no, it is not you, Simon. And Judas said, is it me, Jesus? And Jesus turned to him and went, is it me, Jesus? <laughs> Thus you see two traditions beginning, Jewish sarcasm and Gentile humor, together, born <laughs> at that main moment. And the next day the miracle occurred, crucifixion, resurrection, and he rose again from the dead. And if he sees his shadow, another 2,000 years of guilt, yes. <laughs> And here is for me the one big question. How do you get crucifixion, resurrection, and then chocolate bunnies, colored eggs? How do you do that one? Even kids are going, rabbits don't lay eggs. What is this? And you don't want a kid biting the head off a chocolate Jesus. That's not good. Ah, you don't want a little cream-filled cross going, no, you don't want that. And you don't want to be putting raspberry jam in the grass going, we're looking for Jesus, kids. Come on. Because what are we trying to do? You're trying to keep them involved. That's why we have the saints, all the saints that did all those amazing things to keep you. Oh, when those saints, they're all there to keep you, keep your action up. And then we're starting to lose them. Like St. Christopher. Chris. Sorry, babe, dashboard sales are down. <laughs> the medals aren't selling very well. Drop the kid off your back, pick up your stuff. You're out of here, baby. Thank you. We're gonna have St. Prada, Our Lady of Accessories. Come on.